and we're back and this time I'm going to show you how to create a ripped paper text effect in Adobe Photoshop. What we need first is a ripped paper texture or an image. We'll find the one that I'm using in the description link below, but you can use any that you wish. I resize that to fit the background size, I press enter. Let me rename that and I'll open a new layer. The new one is for our text. So use the type tool, left click, and then type in some text. I'll just call it with paper. Then I use the move tool, reposition that. I use this color if you want to use the same. Open your properties menu if you can't see that, go to window and properties. And I'll increase the size. I set it to center align. And I'll increase the distance between the letters. Let me use the move tool again and bring that a little bit down. I use the arrow key slightly upwards. I think that's a good position. Next step, let me make that invisible. I'll go back to my ripped paper image and I use the quick selection tool. Make sure that you use it on the layer where you've got this ripped paper. You can play around with the size over here. And I need to add parts to the selection, just like this. Let me zoom in. I'll hold Alt and use the mouse wheel for that. Then I hold Alt and this minus sign appears and I can get rid of parts of the selection. Let me blend in the text and I can see that it is enough. I go down with the size of the selection tool over here. And I add a little bit more to the selection on the left side. That should be fine. And I click on the layer mask. Let me blend in the text again so I make that visible. And then I drag the layer mask on top of the text layer. Now I change the blending mode to multiply and I need to inverse the layer mask. Just select the layer mask and press Ctrl I. And if we zoom in, you can see that we've got the perfect effect. It gives us even these white ripples that paper normally has and it fits the text perfectly. And this is how easy you can create this rip paper effect in Adobe Photoshop. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.